Olympics are becoming a very big weather story across the nation and will become even more so over the next several days. First, let's talk about Franklin. Franklin is a healthy hurricane. Notice we now have a pretty well-defined eye at the center of the storm. 100 mile per hour winds making Franklin now a category two hurricane. Franklin is located still several hundred miles southeast of the United States. It is moving north northwest. However, we do expect Franklin to turn out to sea, but peaking as a category four hurricane. So certainly a powerhouse of a hurricane as we go through the next several days. But all eyes are now on tropical storm Idalia. We were tracking tropical depression 10 yesterday, strengthened now to a tropical storm located still very similar to where it was yesterday off the Yucatan Peninsula. And then this storm will be moving northward into the Gulf of Mexico, likely creating major weather problems as we go forward. So tracking Idalia likely entering the Gulf of Mexico Tuesday morning as a category one hurricane and big changes to the forecast now expecting a category two hurricane at landfall Wednesday morning in the Big Bend of Florida. Adalia will continue to go up into Georgia, South and North Carolina over Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, creating hazardous conditions there. And because of that hot, hot off the presses, hurricane watches are now out for Tampa and the Big Bend of Florida with tropical storm watches surrounding that area. So certainly something to monitor as we go forth the next several days. But locally here, very quiet weather, very nice weather across western Ohio. 74 current temperature, partly cloudy skies. Across the board, temperatures are very nice. 76 in Van Wert, 72 in Kenton, 73 in Upper Sandusky. And dew points very comfortable anywhere from the middle 50s to lower 60s. So certainly a much nicer air mass compared to what we've had recently. 75 was the high today, 61 was the low. No rainfall today, and that will likely be the trend over the next several days. Very quiet satellite and radar. And we can thank that to this very large area of high pressure over Michigan, bringing milder and drier air from Canada. So that will continue to be our trend for the remainder of the day and to start of the work week. So looking into tonight, generally a mainly clear sky. Then for Monday, bright and sunny skies will be the rule. Lots of sunshine really for a great day. Continuing into Tuesday, I do expect a gradual uptick in cloud cover. Might be a little bit of rain arriving Tuesday night, but this is very inconsequential with very, very light rainfall amounts expected. Any rainfall with this system, extremely light, one to two hundredths of an inch at most. So certainly nothing to really write off about in terms of significant rainfall. Looking at the seven day forecast for Monday, really bright and sunny, 76 degrees, fabulous weather to start off. Tuesday morning, 52, 79, Tuesday afternoon, partly cloudy, can't rule out those evening sprinkles or light showers. And then Wednesday and Thursday, fabulous, 73 on Wednesday, 77 on Thursday. And we begin to warm back up Friday and beyond, 82 Friday, 87 on Saturday, and 85 by next Sunday. Sartage.